it's important to say something about narcissism because there are so many videos now online on YouTube about narcissism and about toxic personalities and about narcissistic abuse and about narcissistic personality disorder. And the thing that I would like to say is that narcissism is a brain state. Narcissism is a brain state that is produced by a program and that program is a reactive pattern. It's a reactive pattern that again is created by a code and that code is a neurosis in the brain and in the nervous system. That code, that neurosis is a wound that uh, a person has and we all have these wounds, everyone have it. But those of us who can see that and understand that and who can see ourselves, we can also see that narcissism is not necessary. And to be toxic also is not necessary, it's just a reactive pattern. Narcissism is a reactive pattern that comes from the brain, which means that it comes from neurocircuitry in the brain, which means that it is a program in the brain. And that program has been developed because of that which we can call a certain code. And that code is simply just a neurosis. A neurosis that serves as an interpretation machine for reactions. So narcissism is a self-protection mechanism. Actually, narcissism is a self-protection mechanism. And those who cannot see that, they are true narcissists. And they are toxic people and they are dangerous and they can really hurt you. And the world is full of them. They can be smart, they can be clever or they can be stupid. They can be ignorant, which they usually are, of course. And they can be extremely arrogant, which is, of course, very hurtful to other people. But narcissism is actually not a personality trait. This is what I want to say. Narcissism is actually not a personality trait. It's a reactive pattern that comes from a wound, from a neurosis in the brain. That wound, that neurosis, is like a code which creates the programs through narcissism comes out. And that is simply just a reactive pattern. It's a self-protection mechanism that comes from a hurt, from a deep wound, from a trauma, from a trauma in the psyche, deep in the psyche that has gotten into the nervous system as a wound, as a neurosis. And this neurosis that people cannot see that they have creates the programs that are reactive patterns, which comes out as narcissism. This is what narcissism is. This is what abuse comes from. This is what toxicity comes from. So I would just like to say that, that a person who is a narcissist can be free from his narcissism as long as he's willing to understand the neurosis from which the narcissistic programs develop. This is very important to understand. Narcissism comes from a wound in the brain, from a trauma. And that trauma is a code, you could say. It's a code that develops programs. And those programs are reactive patterns, which are actually self-protection mechanisms. It is to protect the person from pain, to protect the person from the knowledge of the neurosis that they actually have. And that neurosis is driving practically nearly all of their lives, if they are serious narcissists, if they are real narcissists. But this can be treated, this can be healed, if the person is willing to see that, well, it's just, it stems from a neurosis, it stems from a wound inside myself, inside the inner brain. I have a neurosis in the brainstem, so to speak, and this neurosis is creating programs which are reactive pro patterns. These programs are reactive patterns that comes out as my self-protectionism and they are narcissistic and toxic and very often abusive to other people. So this is my take on narcissism and it's 
uh, it's an explanation, it's a full explanation, it's a valid explanation, and I think it's much more valid than to say that narcissism is a personality trait. The reason why we say that narcissism is a personality trait or a personality disorder is simply because these patterns governs and controls and directs a person's reactive patterns and those reactive patterns are that which we see as that person's personality but actually the true personality is not that the true personality is something that is much more healthy but the narcissist does not have access to the healthy part of his personality because he is stuck in the reactive patterns which is a protection mechanism and because the brain works in the way that the brain works it also becomes an addiction the brain becomes addicted to stay in this certain neural circuitry to stay within these programs we get addicted to it like every everything else in the brain the brain is a machine for addiction the neural circuitry develops certain biochemical substances that the brain gets addicted to so we are living in limitations because we are living in neurocircuitry that we do not modify simply because we see we are afraid to do it usually people are afraid to do it they are afraid to change because they think that my reactive patterns is who i am but that's not the case my reactive patterns is a reflection of what's wrong in my brain or it's a it's a manifestation of the different forms of neurosis and programs that i have in the brain this is what people should understand everyone is a narcissist but only some are toxic real narcissists and those who are toxic real narcissists cannot see that they are controlled by a code that is producing reactive patterns and programs in their own brains. Thank you.